In this tutorial, we're going to be working with Blender's Logic Brick system in order to program simple game functions. Let's go ahead and switch the screen layout to Game Logic. Let's also switch the viewport into Camera View and change the draw method to Textured. As you can see in the Logic Editor window, there's three main types of Logic Bricks. We have Sensors, Controllers, and Actuators. Sensors will detect forms of input. This can be anything from a key press to an object collision. In the middle, we have controllers. These will interpret the input from sensors and will activate the third type of logic brick called actuators. These are your forms of game output. This includes moving objects, triggering animations, changing properties, and managing scenes. The first thing we're going to do is to set up a simple logic brick system in order to get this cube to move back and forth when the arrow keys are pressed. To do this, select the cube, then go down to the logic editor window. Click add sensor, and select Keyboard. This creates the appropriate logic brick. To assign the sensor to one of the arrow keys, click the box next to Key, then hit the left arrow key on your keyboard. Next, we'll add a controller for this input to go through. Hit Add Controller, and select AND. There are a few different controller types, but the most useful one is the AND controller, and also the Python controller, which allows you to connect logic bricks with Python scripts. To attach the sensor to the controller, Click and drag the black dot next to the keyboard sensor and drop it onto the gray circle on the controller. This links the two logic bricks together. Next, we want to assign some kind of movement. To do this, hit Add Actuator, then select Motion. We want to move the cube backwards along the y-axis, so we'll plug in negative 0.1 for y-axis movement. Go ahead and connect the controller to the motion actuator. Now hit P to run the game engine. As you can see, the cube moves to the left when I press the left arrow key. Make sure to hit escape to stop the game engine. Let's add the same functionality for moving right. Go ahead and add another keyboard sensor and assign it to the right arrow key. Make another motion actuator as well. We want it to move in the opposite direction, so plug in positive 0.1 for y-axis movement. You can actually connect the sensor directly to the actuator, and Blender will automatically add in a controller for us. Hit P again to run the game engine, and as you can see, the cube is moving left and right when we hit the respective keys. We have successfully programmed simple movement without writing a single line of code.